Okay, I don't know if this is going to be a test or I'm actually going to be able to pull it off. Good morning and hello everyone. Oh, I've missed this. I've missed all of it. I've had um, some refinement going through the fire over the last three weeks, almost four. I'm not sure exactly how long it is, but it's been a while. Um, I'm going to be adjusting this a little bit because I'm not in my normal element. I'm completely out of my element. Um, some of you know me personally and you know my circumstances. Um, I'm at uh, an undisclosed location at the moment, um, not where I was before. So anyways, um, yeah. So I have lots of things to share. I've, been, I've missed some things because I've had some uh, issues with uh, electronics. Um, availability to get these videos to you and to talk to the sheep that hear my voice. Um, the people that, that father's words are impacted when I speak them. You know who you are and um, once again it's just like with Derek or Tracy or anyone else it, it isn't me it's father's use of me to speak to specific individuals and you know who you are so I'm just gonna try to keep this brief because there's a couple significant things that um, I have processed and been refined to understand one of them is intention and this is something that's an ongoing process of learning about for me and I discovered something that is really key of course, I have some really fancy notes written on a paper towel here, so I'm using all the resources that I can at the moment. And I'm really hoping this is going to work. I don't even know yet. This is my first attempt to get this going since I've been in this position. Um, I know many of you are going through this right now. Your, your lives are being tossed upside down. Well, I'm right in the boat with you, and Father has used this opportunity to walk me through a couple of significant fires, probably the most significant fires I've ever encountered in my whole life. Um, to bring me to the other side for my own good so that I can complete my mission and also for your good. So here goes and hopefully I can <laughs> do this justice. Once again, I'm, I'm kind of out of my element. So here we go, right? Intention. Okay, if you find yourself in a position where your whole life has been, you know, turned upside down and you feel like you're under attack, like everything around you is just coming at you and you've been thrown off kilter and... Um, that whole thing that Derek talks about all the time, take every thought captive, take the thought about the thought of the thought captive, super important. And here's why this is what I learned. Okay. Your intent is powerful. It's huge power. This entire matrix is run on it. This is the thing that the negatives are after is your intention. If they can shift your attention and direct it in the way that they can use it, then they will. But if they can't, they can't touch you. They cannot, they cannot use the power Father has given you. They can't. The thing with intention that I discovered is if you aren't purposing after it in your heart, in your mind, focused entirely on your intention, if you're being tossed about in this storm that you're in, and you think you've got it. I did. I thought I had it. I thought I was in the middle ground. I was sure I was taking my thoughts captive. I was handling it. I was dealing with it. I had lots of support from, you know, our family. And it felt as if I was handling things and I was doing okay. But there was this thing that just kept rearing its head, its ugly head at me. And I was like, Father, what's going on? I'm, I'm, not, able to, I'm not able to have victory. What's happening? And I was very confused by it, I would say. So your intent is powerful, the thing that you intend to do. Because you know what? Father's already given you everything that you have. He's given you everything that he has. He created us and then he bestowed upon us exactly what we have. Yeshua himself, the greatest mastermind of all of the embodiment of Christ, made it very clear. Father, I want them to have what I have, exactly what I have with you. You and me, me and you, one with all of the attributes of Father. Give to them what you've given to me. We have that already. It's been given to you. It's a gift. It's yours. You do not have to sit at the feet of Father and beg him for anything or ask him for anything. It's there. You already have it. And the negatives know this and they're going to try to usurp it. So it runs the matrix. Your power runs this matrix. That's the only way this matrix can work. This world that we live in that has been um, corrupted. It is a very poor copy of Father's beautiful design. What you intend, if it's not purposed, will just be what is in your heart and what's going on with your emotions. 
So if you don't focus and get your, you know, thoughts captive and your intentions forward by reminding yourself of Father's truth, of who you are and who he is, what's going to happen is it'll just be the state of your emotions in your heart because it's still there. That power is always there. But if you are not taking it and wielding it and using your intention, your desire to move it in the direction that you want it to go, and you can do this because you have everything Father has. You have everything Yeshua had. You have everything Derek has. You have everything I have. If you belong to Father, you have it. He's given it to you. So what's there when you're in this battle? What is in that state? Well, this is what I discovered, and I hope it helps. I just kept reaching out to Father because I didn't have any other choice. And I'm telling you, like I said, this fire um, was really the hardest one I've ever went through. And for you dessert dishes that um, know what I'm talking about, and if you don't, go check out my dessert dish video and hear the story. If it applies to you, then great, come on board because Father's speaking to you. Um, what happened was I got dangerously edged to the to the edge of the table, and I didn't cry out to Father because I didn't see that I had intentions in my heart that were hidden from me because of the severe amount of emotional pain that I was in. And I fell off the table. And I fell all the way to the floor before he caught me. He always, he always catches me. He will never let me fall all the way to the floor and shatter. But it was the longest, hardest fall I've ever experienced. And it was very scary and very hard. Um, but it was purposed and it was beautiful. In the end, I could see the beauty in it because he showed me something. And this is what he showed me. What is in there if you are facing a trial that does not seem to have any victory to it and you're just getting hammered over and over again and, and you're feeling all that anxiety and frustration and pain and sadness and heartache? What's in that heart? What is going on in there? And that's with Father. That's the question he asked me. So I, I said, help me look, Father. Help me look. And so I looked and I realized that this particular life circumstance had knocked me so far off of kilter that I was harboring pain, heartache, fear of being knocked out of my element, and also judgment towards another human being. And I didn't even realize I was doing it. I honestly couldn't see it. So I realized that it was because I wasn't intending. It was all in my heart. Of course, our hearts are affected by the matrix. Of course they are. This is the plan. This is the tool that they use. So that pain that was existent in my heart my empath heart, my dessert dish heart, which we all know is very powerful. That pain that was there was just residual. I wasn't controlling it. I wasn't using my intent to take it where it needed to go. I was just letting it be there. And that was being used. This whole circumstance was something out of like a horror movie, spiritually. It was really, really bad. And once I saw that, because Father showed me that, I realized. And then he gave me some very specific words, some of which I shared in Discord with everybody. You can go back and look through the posts. I post most of it in the dessert dish room. It's easier because there's not as much traffic in there. You can scroll through and find them. He spoke many beautiful things to me. And in that process, I realized that I was judging and that I was not forgiving because it's human not to want to forgive when you're being hammered. It totally is. So I realized that Father showed it to me. And I tell you that that moment, that very second that I took captive that position and said, I know who I am. I'm the divine child of my Father. I have the mind of Christ. I've been given a spirit of love. And my intention is this. I will walk in love. I will hold no account of anyone ever. My worst enemies will get nothing but love from me my father's love that he's given me, I give to them. I will heap this abundance on their heads and I will ask for blessing to come to them from my father. As they wound me, I will give them love. As this continues, this pattern of wounding, every time, father, it happens, I want to intend upon giving your love, your peace and your hope and your joy to that very person that's wounding me. As soon as I did that, with my words, with my mind, with my heart, intent, the entire situation changed. Entire situation. I mean, within nanoseconds. Seriously. It changed. My insides changed. My countenance came back. My peace came back. The whole circumstance came back. It was very reminiscent of my one of my favorite um, stories in the Bible about Yeshua. And this is another thing that was shown to me. It was incredible. Now see... I was shown, I was taken to a higher plane to see above the fray, above all this stuff that looked like disaster and mayhem. I was shown something. 
Father said, do you know this story? And you love it, and you've always marveled at it. And it's the story where Yeshua is in the boat with all of his disciples. And there's this horrible storm that comes up. And you've seen the movies, these big gale winds and water sloshing over the top of the boat. And, I mean, they're going to capsize. You've seen that image portrayed in Hollywood. So you know what I'm talking about. It's pretty severe, and you're going to die, more than likely. And everybody started to get real scared. What was Yeshua doing? Sleeping. <laughs> he was sleeping. So eventually they couldn't take it anymore, and they woke him up. Master, master, we're going to die. Please help us. We're going to die. He woke up and said, why is everybody afraid? What's happening? Father, I mean father, not father. Yeshua, look, we're in this storm. We're going to capsize. We're going to die. We need your help. Please help us. He just looked at them and said, oh, ye of little faith. And then the story says that he commanded the storm to stop and the boat sat still and everything was peaceful. I always interpreted that as being a show of God's power so that we would understand that Father has the power to quell all the storms in our lives. That's what I believed. But you know what happened when I believed that? When the storms in my life didn't stop and I was in the midst of them, I felt abandoned. I felt like, well, well Father's not going to use his power to stop this storm for me. And I said that to Father. I said, that's the one thing I've never understood about this because sometimes the storms don't stop. Just like Derek said in his, his last video, it has nothing to do with your appointment or your anointment if, if the storms don't stop. That's part of this matrix. He, he made the funny notation that said if he gets completely ousted out of everything he owns and he's naked in the dirt, he'll look up and go, okay, Father, now what? Because this is the matrix. And I don't know if you've seen the movie, but there is no spoon. That's a key note in that movie. In this story, Father said, let me tell you what really happened in that story. Yeshua didn't stop the storm. He didn't. The storm force gailed on. The boat rocked. He took his disciples spiritually above the fray so that they could see the truth. They could see that the storm isn't there. The spoon does not exist. It's the matrix. This is a huge construct of lies and smokes and screens that's applied to this flesh suit that ran. So we feel it. So it's convincing that it's real. But my loves, there is no spoon. There is no storm. There is no fear. The only thing that can manifest itself is what you believe. Talk to Father about that. Help him show you the rest of the way that's personal to you. And he will. And this is what I've learned thus far. Much more coming as long as this works. Um, and I'm at 12 minutes. That's not too bad for me. <laughs> That's not too bad at all. And I'm not done yet, though. I just have a tendency to keep talking. So I hope some of that resonates with you. I, if this works, then I'm going to be working on my next Dessert Vish video because I want to do a little testimony about the way I was raised and the, the perspective that Father put me in in order to give me the downloads that I have in order to speak to specific people out there, precious, beautiful, powerful people that Father's looking for to speak to their hearts. I love you guys so much. You have no idea how your hearts have carried me in this. And it's just been... Like Derek says, awful, but beautiful. Just remember when you're in the fire, there's only one thing you need to do. Look to Father. Place your heart and trust in Him. and He will do the rest. That's the only thing you need to do. Put that foot out and the step will appear. I promise you, He is faithful. I want you to have a wonderful day and know that I love you beyond any expression I can give to you in human weak words. And I'll be talking to you soon. Have a great day.